Looks like he plays Supergirl and Harley once again. And here we go, the first match of the night. Burritos is sticking with his green arrow. Now, Burritos, his Trey Pound's opponent, is number one ranked in the Atlanta region right now, winning almost every single tournament except for, I believe, last week. But we'll see if he can manage to get that lead back. I don't think anybody can take it from him this week, but we'll see. Oh, and look at all this pressure, confirming it to a combo, but dropping it. Trey Pound still holding position, getting the jump in. Full juggle, no ender, oh, but interesting. the wake up. Yeah. <laughs> and he whipped the first dash, and he finally got under. He's like, wait, oh, wait, on this side. I honestly thought that was going to hit. Nice, great side switch combo. Loads an arrow, but I don't know if he'll be able to use it. This life bar, and that's Almost. actually a huge waste. It got rid of the ice arrow and just and got no lost, reward for And he lost his life bar, yeah. Now, this is a very interesting zoning match. Both of these characters have very unique zoning. They one, do. One of the biggest kind of interactions between these zoners is the fact that Green Arrow can crouch while he shoots, and Harley mainly uses highs. Now, the big counter of that, of course, will be the hyenas that we're seeing, which can hit overhead. Nice roll under Meter Bird, but he gets caught. And a very healthy life lead for Trey Pound as he carries Burritos to the corner and gets the mix. And that is not the first time that we've seen neutral jump to punish uh, Burritos for whatever he's doing on Wake Up. Time for it to rain out. Yeah, and I've actually seen weird interactions with that jump to in certain knockdown situations where it will cross up. It's, it's pretty ambiguous. And right now Burritos is going to have a tough time trying to get back in through this zoning. One single hyena call can set up so much guaranteed chip, although <laughs> this is going to be him. very difficult. Is he going to get it one more hit? And he does. First round going to Trey Pound, very dominating so far. It won more zoning or go in. And Trey Pound every single time went in, baited a bunch of wake ups, and it just worked out for him. Yeah, and I feel like Trey Pound was also sufficiently slippery enough to where uh, Rios potentially was getting frustrated because he honestly couldn't he couldn't really land a hit and he couldn't get anything started. And that's a really good trait to have, uh, especially as a Harley player. Oh, that's unsafe, but no punish from Burritos. Doesn't make the right call. Now, if you do block her tantrum stance, there are a few different options. You can either block the cartwheel follow-up and just punish with a jab, or you can try to chase her if she's backdashing. Oh, huge combo potential there, but drops it now, stuck in the corner. Is that a grab to throw back in? It is. Again, that entire exchange started off of just a neutral jump from Harley on Green Arrow's wake-up. None of those wake-ups are working. Down one check. Gonna get a little bit of a combo here, not too much damage. I like how he dashed completely through her while she was frozen, yeah. just so he could get the side switch combo back over, because the side switch combo is optimal. Which also can be a pain for him, right? Because if, if you're close to the corner, you don't really have a choice. You have to do a combo that doesn't do as much damage. Right. But so far, Burrito's playing a much better game here and just so close to taking out the first life bar of Trey Pound. Cupcakes coming out, meter burn shots, hyenas getting through this field of zoning just to take a little bit. Meanwhile, Trey Pound is still taking pieces of Burrito's life off. Wow, just completely avoiding every single shot. And the lead that Burrito's had, it melted. It did. He just got clipped by little projectiles here and there. But one of the biggest things about this is the fact that he did manage to get himself out of the corner before he lost his life yeah. bar. This is potentially good positioning for him as he has Harley fighting out of the corner, but Trey Pound doing a really good job of getting out. And now we're back mid-screen. Nice mix-up. Oh, and he drops his combo. So huge. And another input error, maybe? Possibly nice block on the overhead. I don't think Trey Pound has managed to open burritos up with the overhead a single time. No, but he has opened them up with a lot of lows. True. Or just neutral jumping. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of life back for Trey Pound. Burrito's still playing the runaway game. We haven't really seen him on the offense. It's mostly been his zoning game. Good block. And that's so much forced chip that burritos has to take. Nice block, but again, just retreating from the tantrum yeah. stance, not getting punished. Again, nice down one into the arrow hold trait into overhead. Almost oh, converts, that no. would've been really neat. That was that was weird, that is definitely not the optimal. So you, that is what you want to try to do, but you normally just go into a straight 
electric arrow from that instead of doing the jumping electric arrow because that allows you to get a back three. So I'm not sure what he went for right there, but it didn't work out too well. Still, it's getting pretty low for both players. It could potentially be one oh, hit for either. Trapon doesn't have his clash too. But he does have two hyenas and the possibility to make this very difficult for burritos and one to of the biggest shots. One of the biggest things here is that burritos might not get a chance to clash. Wow, I love that dash through again. Yes. Just because he might just get plinked to death by little projectiles. Backing up so close, gets caught by fire arrow. One more, no, rolls through. Wait a second. We've seen Treypound be very slippery from this distance. Oh, oh and there it is, down one into Fledgel. What is that arrow specific? There's a single character that ducks while zoning except for green arrow. I believe he is the only one, yeah. Oh, drops the combo. If you're gonna break the Batmobile, you gotta at least land Convert, the combo that hits yeah. afterwards, right? But, so this has kind of been the case here. It's usually Trey Pound walking Burritos into the corner and then Burritos fighting his way out, but then Trey Pound just getting mid-screen again. But finally, we may see some pressure here from Burritos as he has Harley in the corner. Oh, wow, it, so that has a little bit of invincibility. It actually completely avoided the first shot, but the meter burn second shot hit him out of the Oh, what a weird interaction. It is, so Harley Quinn's forward three is exactly like Poison Ivy's, where you can actually hold forward or backwards to change the range that it goes. And if you don't hold backwards, it can actually go over point blank crowd. Oh, huge meter burn forward three, and that is gonna kill. Two combos in the corner, and Burritos now finds himself with a life lead. Oh, nice. Oh, that clash may have been Hopefully not for accidental? Decades. Possibly, but there, he was still potentially in for a lot of damage off of that, so I don't feel like it's a terrible choice. Now, Burritos could have maybe just gotten a raw back three from that electric arrow. Right, but instead he did a down one, which leads me to believe that maybe that clash wasn't... Well, maybe Trey Pound thought that Burritos was going to go for something bigger. <laughs> sure, that's fair. It's one of those moments where you're like, okay, he's gonna get tons of damage, and then they do something really small, and you're like, oh man, yeah. why did I break? And this is Burritos looking so solid as a complete different pace from the other two games. Nice combo as he switches in. Whoa, really weird setups here. Going through Trey I don't know what's going body. on, but Burritos, very close. And it's going to be so tough to yeah. catch up to that. Yeah, the meter burn hit of that has a huge hitbox. And after being down, mostly meterless yeah. too. Nice wins the air to air to start off. And that's that's going to start off with a, a really tough situation for Trey Pound. He he could really use that meter for a lot of his zoning tools so that he can get his kind of zoning momentum started. But now he's just going to have to chase. Yeah, and we've kind of seen a, a switch in play style from Trifon as well. It seems as though he's trying to go in more instead of staying out and trying to be a little more patient. Because although Burritos was getting under a lot of his zoning, he was using Hyenas really effectively to stop Burritos from doing that. And we're actually not seeing that so much this the last two games. Well, the big thing is that he needs to find a spot where Burritos is respecting him enough that he can actually throw out a Hyena. Otherwise, he's gonna get stuffed out of the Hyena. He's gonna take a bad trade, and most likely Green Arrow is going to recover in time to block the Hyena itself. All right, that should be a lot of damage. 111 does a ton of damage. Yeah, this is most damaging string, isn't it? It is. It does, uh, actually, I don't even know. It's way over 100, though. Yeah, it's the last hit specifically, too. That does a grip of damage. It actually has huge range on that last hit, too. There's nice. a hyena coming out, getting caught. Now, one thing that I would like to see from Trey Pound is maybe using... Oh, oh my goodness! And he's going to get a lot off of that. What's he going to set up? Oh, goes for again for that neutral jump too, but this time, Burrito's knowing to roll, and then he should get the kill from this, even wow, though it was, scales a lot from the That was a neat combo. It was. Now, where's that sleeping gas arrow? Went for the uh, the style combo just because yeah. he knew that he It could. was going to kill, absolutely. Oh, manages to convert. Goes into the ice arrow, very smart. Okay, so I think he tried to bait a wake up right there. So he could, yeah. But he may have been a little bit too early and the wake up auto corrected itself. Oh, nice slide under that gunshot. But Trey Pound is going to take the life bar as now it is potentially game point for Burritos here. Nice jump back air to air. Fire arrows are loaded. 
two bars still for Trey Pound. It is not over. And screen positioning is yeah, really good for Trey Pound. Oh, I, I say that, but I'm wrong. Oh, and that, oh, oh, oh. that is such a dirty mix-up. That's not going to kill, though. It's going to be pretty close, but at the very least, it's going to put Burrito's in a situation where he can potentially chip or just hit with one projectile and win the game against Trey Pound. Trey Pound still though could take it maybe. He, no, he can definitely almost... still do this. It is not over. Oh, oh the box box club. Club. He put it oh, away. That <laughs> is it. The put boxing it away and brought club. It back out. I... He's all about the green. So this will be a Superman mirror, just like we thought. And like I said, a mirror that we saw a lot in Injustice 1. Not so much in Injustice 2, but I think it's one of the most interesting mirrors. Believe it or not, now we're definitely going to see a lot of laser throwing and a lot of 4-2-3 breaths, but there's a huge mind game to all of these because, wow, just with Sorry, laser. I'm listening, I'm listening. No, absolutely. Now, there, there's a, a, this is one of my favorite zoning mirrors in the entire game because you can duck a straight laser, which gives you enough advantage to do a sweeping laser, or you can uh, jump over a, an air sweeping laser, and that gives you zoning advantage. And then there's the exact same opportunity for the opponent off of whatever you do from yours. So there's just this gigantic back and forth of respect and lack of respect in the zoning so game. So essentially, it's a, it's a game of inches with zoning. Oh, very, if even. And another big thing in this matchup that I hope we get to see is people backdashing lasers. I think Tyrant kind of Tyrant popularized Tyrant was one that. of the best, yeah. Shoutouts to Tyrant. He, man, he really was one of the best. He, I mean, he was almost <laughs> the procurer of that strategy. Ooh, procurer. I like that word. It's one of the very few big words I have to use. <laughs> he pulled out his dictionary right before that. He was like, hold on, oh. I need a word. Wake up goes right through the armored 4 3, and now it's going to be Bravo finding himself in the corner, taking 427 damage, and again just gets opened up by 4 2 3. Own universe. This world is mine. I do enjoy the fact that he's using the Demon Shader. It looks like he's not just fighting Superman. But right now, Tweety with a huge life lead, he has just. He's taken so much damage from winning that zoning game. Yeah, the, the thing that's crazy though is Superman ha is also one of the the very nutty damage characters, right? Like, he can turn that around incredibly fast, especially in the corner. Oh, yeah. I mean, we talk a lot about Black Adam damage, but Superman off of just a 4-2-3 in the corner, 4-2-3 in the trait for one bar gets over 600 yeah, damage. It's gross. Yeah. And well, he's in the swamp level, so maybe the game is telling him exactly who to pick. But he takes the first hit this time with the down 4-3, the advancing sweep. That one goes to the check. Nice. Um, small punish, but still. Oh! oh. Tweety getting hit by the low on Wake Up. Interesting. Nice. Oh, Tries to nice OTG. block. All right, nice side switch combo right there. That's going to give a really nice corner advantage. And corner advantage is so huge in this matchup. <laughs> <laughs> You see how he's jumping? He's yeah. actually baiting no, I know. I know. a jump from Tweety. He's trying to fake out an air laser. <laughs> Look at them, they're just, huff, they're huff, just fading. Huff. Yeah. Oh, but Tweety is just forcing so much more chip onto Skate Bravo. Oh, oh, wait a second. Huge opportunity now for Skate Bravo. But with the in, mm, interesting choice. He used the armor to, to, to go through a wake up, but didn't have the he didn't have the HP to do it. Yeah, I feel like he maybe just wasn't keeping track of his health very yeah. well. Nice air to air. One of the best air to airs in the oh game. Oh my jump one. goodness. Nice dash. Throws him back to mid screen. Interesting choice, but still huge life lead from Tweety. Yeah, that, those throws are oh, so he good did because it. they put you right in 4 2 3 range again on your wake up. Tweety went right for that down one into scoop. He didn't do down one breath, which combos. He did down one scoop. He was sure that that down one was going to hit. Oh, and again, this is this is almost the same situation as last game. Tweety with still barely a f first life bar and just takes it off Skate Bravo again. I think that's all bad in this game, right? Like, if you're the worst character, it's not saying that the character is bad itself. It's just that all the characters are good. It's just some of them are blatantly better than others. Don't cringe face at me. <laughs> uh, well, this is definitely one of the characters that has a lot of the struggles. Now, sure, there are things that Swamp Thing has. Now, he has some of the longest normals in the entire game, but they're not that fast. 
On top of that, he is a grappler. Essentially, he's got a great up close command grab nice that can uh, switch sides, it can give you life back. There's a whole bunch of different options off of it. But the biggest issue for him are his normals. They're rather slow. And against a character like Superman, who's at an eight frame forward two, that is going to be tough. Oh, and that is not the fastest back three, but he does get it. An interesting choice of combo off of that. He could have got a lot more damage. The thing you want in corner position, though. Well, he got it, but down. right now it's not working out too well down for him. Scoop. Oh, gets up. Ooh, very nice. Good blocks. Ooh, tries to check with a 1-1. One, one. The little Vine Whip is a 1-1. One, one. And I'll be honest, so far he's on. He's not doing that bad. He's not. At all. He's actually doing rather well. Uh, using the... Oh, 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 oh wow. The, the console full screen. Tweety's like, oh, he's not going to zone me. And then he just gets hit by a giant computer. Again, really good use of that meter burn dash. Gets under, and that's the second time he's caught him with a down two in the conversion. It is, but again, not really a full conversion. It's very interesting. Oh, wow. That was a very late clash. Come and try. But Skate Bravo does have the lead, doing considerably better than when he was using Superman. Oh, that time he tried it again. Didn't get through, though. Oh, and getting caught by the forward two. Tweety not blocking this should be huge damage. Oh, man. Super Superman also with three bars. Even if the clash came, he would lose that. Oh my, three bars, and he's gonna lose this clash. He's gonna have nothing but chip health left. My protection. And that's all it takes against Superman sometimes. So smart though, very smart from Skeet to not spend any bar. Oh, but <laughs> mm. unfortunately. Uh, mainly, he does try to play some Dr. Fate. Of course, we see him using Atrocitus right now, but I'll get to that. Mm -hmm. uh, and he just doesn't think that Fate is very good. So he's been playing Atrocitus, and uh, I guess... Who is very good. <laughs> yeah. But now I want to talk a little bit about... Yeah, let's talk about now, Merc. Merc. So Merc has always been a really good online player. I don't really know how much he's gone offline. I don't think I've seen it almost at all. But he's chosen one of the coolest characters in this game that we very rarely get to see, which is Blue Beetle. Very nice punish. Can use it for the full thing? Gets the back three, but already waited too much because it was started off uh, from the air. Oh, and that's the second time he's missed that shield bash or shield charge, uh, and it is super, and, and I mean like super punishable. Do I make you angry? Oh, on whiff. On yes, whiff, yeah. Yes. And that's the second time he's whiffed it. No, so, on block, it, there's really nothing you can do about yeah, it. No, nothing at all. It's minus four, but Pig with a huge lead right now. Uh, Merc is he's usually. Pretty uh, uh, stylish, I guess you could say, as far as his tech. But right now, we haven't seen him get anything started. He's just been getting mixed by Pig. Oh my god. Like him all the way into the ocean. Oh, Black Man is Black just chilling there, just waiting. He's just waiting. He's like, Aquaman told me to be here <laughs> yeah. at 4 o'clock today, and here I am. Oh, and there we go. Perfect. You can invoice now. All right. Merc is going to have to do a lot if he wants to make this comeback. Pig just playing with some, some pretty safe options, but he can really win a lot just through chip. Good usage of meter. Oh, Dexstar's out now. It's pretty hopeless at this point. And there it is, Pig. A lot Merc of tools are getting missing, yeah. murked. Ooh, I see what you did there. <laughs> Production says got him. All right, nice. Full combo uses the shield. Oh, Ooh. double shield, goes for the restand, doesn't follow it up with anything, just wants to get some more pressure. Oh, just out of range for that grab. And again, yeah, Merc trying to now go for the down three in the sweep, but we're seeing mainly him trying to use that shield brash, right? To, to just get, get a hit on block, or even on hit, just to kind of push Pig away, but... Yeah, really? Oh, oh, oh there we go. that was nice. <laughs> Checking him after the projectile block. But now it is Pig's turn. Let's see if he decides to do a mix. Oh, wow. Catches him with the tip of the meter burn Yeah, vomit one, one and... two into meter burn vomit. Yeah, we don't really see one, one, two very much at all anymore. It does end with the low, and a lot of people get hit by it for some reason. Oh, goes for the cross-up. Nice block by Pig. Dexstar's out now. <laughs> Cannot escape He's gonna catch him. He knows where you are. He's got his little cat eyes on you. Right, that's going to be big. And Merc choosing not to break. Interesting. I guess maybe he wants to save it for a situation where Dexstar's out. Or maybe break here because... Oh, 
Oh, and just not able to escape the corner. This should be... Oh, wow. I'm surprised Pink just doesn't let him... Oh, you know what? That was a mistake right there. Yeah. We saw a standing three that was almost definitely supposed to be a back three to knock him through the stage transition. But that's going to give Merc a chance to break. Regardless, it'll be very, very tough to make the comeback. Good trade by Pink. Comboing oh, meaninglessly. Nice. Got the combo. Very good conversion. And that should... Oh, that actually could have been it had he just gone for another Blood Nado into the back forward one, the punch float. But still managing to close it out as Pig takes a quick two... Well, I think what he needs to do is either commit to more rushdown or to more defense. Because if he commits to rushdown, then he can potentially just mix up Atrocitus the entire time. He's got great lows, and lows completely shut down Atrocitus' wake up. He then, of course, once you start respecting that, he gets a lot of damage from his overheads, goes back into more Oki, etc. Or he can play more Runaway, where he plays, shoots a lot of projectiles, and as soon as Pig gets that cat out, he can push block him with all the meter that he's built. He can meter burn back three exactly that like that. That was nice. Good response there and good damage, 342. Merc looking much healthier in this third game. There we go, sweeps and sweeps. And should good get something. This is solid play. This is what we wanted, Sha. It's considerably better than the previous two games. Oh wow. That shield trading with, <laughs> with the uh, shield. <laughs> that shield trading with shield is actually in Merc's favor. That is pretty good. I did not know that that was an interaction that happened. So that's uh, solid. Again, catching another raw meter burn back three. And now Pig is the one forced Shield's to clash. And just one single bar from Pig, but that will give him a little bit of a knockdown advantage, which he's just gonna use to walk back and recharge Dexstar. <laughs> and that shield is so obnoxious to deal with. But another problem for Merc here is he hasn't really been... He hasn't been able to block too many mix-ups. As difficult as it is because, you know, that's what... Atrocitus is, a walking mix-up. Finally, he does block the low, but he's oh, had no punish. Another one. Yeah, but he's been getting hit by a lot of Blood Nados, and he's actually blocked the last couple ones, so that's a very good sign as well. It's definitely a good start. Also, Dexstar is down to recharge, so this is where I think Merc he should really go needs in. to do something yeah. big. But another thing for Merc is he hasn't done a single mix-up. He's playing a very, very mid-range Beetle that's really not taking advantage of his, uh, all, really all of his tools yet. Oh, and that is it! Huge forward three to close it out. Merc takes a game. And he's really pretty can. close. He just has to win one more, while well, Merc has to win two. And that's going to be a huge start. That's going to give him the knockdown advantage. The first hit of meter, and oh, manages to combo from that. That was really scary. The only reason why he was able to combo from that shield hitting was the fact that the uh, shield charge from Blue Beetle put him into the air and then allowed him to juggle. Ooh, interesting choice. Went for the cross-up there. You never see that from uh, Atrocitus players, really. Not a great cross-up. We are seeing more sweeps now, also coming out of Merc. Sweep is a great tool that really counters a lot of the neutral tools from Atrocitus as well. Projectiles being used very well. Now Dexter almost getting nullified completely with no time. Now trying to wake up, getting swept multiple times. And honestly, Pig didn't get to use Dexter at all. Right, but throwing out so many punch floats, very confident that he's going to be making the right reads there. Oh, and getting a little overzealous with the dashing does get him caught with the Blood Nado. And the cost of his first life bar, but still Merc not in a bad position. And now Pig just needs to take one more life bar and he'll be moving on in losers. Oh, and he tried to press there, but again, it's very hard to get that timing in between Dexter, especially without armor and a clash. I'm so going to beat you. You'll bathe in your own blood. Whoa, I feel like that was kind of a, a heavy response from Atrocitus. He's like, I'm so gonna beat you. And the, the, the normal response would be like, I don't think well, so, buddy. But he's like, you're gonna bathe looking. in your own blood. He's uh, yeah, going he, a little hard right there. He took it to that level real quick. Real, real quick. All right, Merc taking the life bar, but he's gonna have to, he really, if he wants to make this comeback, he's going to have to use his mix-up tools, which we haven't seen at all. No, and very close, good push block, but still bleeding. Oh. And that catch is going to do it. Pig moves on. That was an ab... So the first match of the night was Georgia, Tennessee. The previous one, Pig versus Merc, was Georgia, Tennessee, and this one is two. So we saw Tennessee win the first one, Atlanta win, or Georgia win the second one, and now this is kind of the tiebreaker. Yeah. But of course, it, the only thing that matters is who wins the whole night, right? 
But it, it's it's fun to, to keep tabs on that as well because it's yeah. like a it's like a mini regional war within the region. Right, and that is really what Hometown Heroes is about. It's the concentration on, you know, the, the locals, the yeah. local scenes. Absolutely. And how they play out. Now, definitely the Atlanta players have played together for a long time. I don't know too much about Burritos, but for sure the other ones. I just like his name. I don't, like Burritos. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, yeah, I can tell. Nice meter burn for Ruby. That should be the kill. Oh, no. Oh, not, not quite. The ball. Block and now caught in the corner. Oh, just four, two, three. It could have been a really good situation there for Fierce because he blocked the dive bomb and then he had uh, Superman in the corner there. Right. But he tried for the mix up and got punished. Now, Fierce. That hyena goes so high. <laughs> it does. It really jumps up. But yeah, so Fierce. He's still trying to play the zoning game just to get in. I really like that. A lot of people, once they start trying to go in, they forget about some of their other tools that really uh, get them the respect they need to make it in. Oh, that would have oh, been a really oh, dirty oh. mix-up, but he Nova did, was having none of it. He did not care about He's that like, height. No, thank you. He's like, you left me, I'll laugh at you. And now this is the most terrifying place in the entire world. Yeah. The corner against Superman. Got a clash coming out. Not what I had from Fierce, caught in an unsavory position as he spends a bar to get, hopefully, out a little bit of the corner, but... And we're just seeing I-beams. Now, it's really tough to challenge that for Harley. Do you feel that maybe Harley jumping can set up a pop gun, at least, to try to chase it in? I really don't think so. It's just not from that range. Pop gun, it's it's pretty slow startup, unless right. you spend bar. But what I'm saying is he's he's been training Nova to watch for the gunshot after every uh, air eye laser. It's true, it's true. But I think at the start of a pop gun, Superman can actually, on reaction, just jump an air laser Fair. himself. Okay. Now, one thing that I would like to see is maybe jump it and then throw out the hyena, because even if you get hit, that's the true. hyena is still going to come out very maybe true. knock down. And oh. that, that is the third time we've actually seen that tonight. Meter burn roll into the very... I was just saying it was very possible we wouldn't. It looked like we might not have a Black Adam, but... It looks like we will, and that is a pretty solid choice against oh, Superman. He just hit Superman in the face, like shut up! <laughs> wow, that was a very delayed dive kick to get hit by. Oh, duck the first hit, but didn't challenge it. And right now, wow! Fortunately, still caught in the corner. Blocks out, but uh oh, oh, that is a great start. Will he do a side switch? No. no. Oh, but go he, oh, he does restand. go for a side switch and a restand dive bomb. Sort of a restand, really an OTG, I guess is the, the correct term for it. An around that was going very well for Fierce. Kind of reared its ugly head back at him and he lost half of his life bar. Good check on the forward one, that is a high. And you see Nova was fishing for it again. Good block, oh. that is punishable without meter. And that should be the life bar. But regardless, the Black Adam pick working so much better than yeah. uh, the Brigade. Agreed. Agreed. And it's understandable. Harley does have... It, Harley is infamous for having trouble against Superman. So having a secondary for a matchup like that is extremely important. And what better secondary than Black Adam? Uh, I heard he's all right. He's all right. He's a pretty good character. Yeah. And I do, I enjoy the way that he sits back with orbs, saying, cometh at me, bro. I, well, I do agree that him using orbs defensively has been really smart. A lot of times I oh, feel like wow. he's wasted it. Nice. That was risky you as all hell. Just wake up, <laughs> wake up Black Magic on a dashing Superman. <laughs> hey, it caught. It, no, it did. It was, it, it works, but. Also, we just saw another essentially wake up Black Magic right there. Oh, just barely within range. He gets caught. That's going to waste caught. all the that orbs. Is, it is safe, but forward one, two plus this grab is, is minus. So I don't know what he was trying to do. Maybe backdash there? I think it was a backdash, but Black Adam definitely doesn't have the backdash that he had in Injustice 1. Oh, man. His backdash is worse than his old backdash after the nerf. Oh. It's pretty It's pretty bad in this game. It was still pretty good after the nerf, right? It, 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 was, it, was, yeah, it was usable. It was, in this yeah. game, eh, you're pushing it. Oh, and that's a big drop, but this should be the kill, assuming there's no other drop, and boom. Nova says, I don't care if you pick Black Adam. Intro. Like the the character select screen? Yeah, the character select screen.
Um, I mean, best intro easily has to go to Flash. There's no question. No, Flash, yeah, uh, but painful. But painful, yeah. I think I think uh, Deadshot looks really painful because he just just pop, just shoots right in the face, point yeah, blank. No, You're just does. like, ow! Why would you do that? Firestorm also burns your face. <laughs> that, that's true. That's pretty bad too. But all right, going into potentially the last match where Nova with Superman has taken two straight. And Fierce looking a little bit lost just as far as what character he feels comfortable with in the matchup. Trying to move in nice, go straight for the low and the tantrum. Oh, oh and that, this has worked. We've seen that work multiple times tonight in favor of Superman. Yeah, the best thing about Superman's rising grab is that it gets him out of a lot of weird anti-setup situations. It's got a great hitbox, it hits up in the sky, and a lot of times it'll switch sides or just avoid whatever they're trying to meet you with in general. Good backdash from Fierce, gets hit by a TV. It was old, it's okay. <laughs> Hey man, don't hate on CRTs. They're valuable. I'm Zero just saying, input lag. at least it wasn't an expensive LCD. Or like a 4K or something, I don't know. Maybe it was. Maybe it was just in an old box. Yeah, Sony makes some really nice 4Ks, man. All right, this should be a big combo. Ooh, what Whoa, was that, that was neat. That was a super <laughs> neat combo. Again, going for a meter burn back three or something to stuff the wake up of Superman, but doesn't get it. And now is in corner pressure. Forcing Fierce to block I mean, so good much. Blocks, but you don't want to be blocking too much as now the chip. Oh, wait a second. Going for unclashable, interesting choice. But I understand it. I feel like now that Fierce has gone for the unclashable option, he's going to want to try to close it out with zoning. Three bars still available for Superman. He could do damage here, or he can just let it fly. What is, no, bone spending zero? Wow. Oh, wow, getting over the uh, Hyena. And now it's going back to a zoning match. That's going to be very tough for Nova. Oh, and he oh, caught no. the backdash. This is one combo away now to death. Hits the restand, but that's the cross-up. If he doesn't do the cross-up right there, there's no scaling on it. Goes for the armored 4-3, no wake up coming out. Oh, and a oh, roll, that's and it. that is it. UPR Nova taking it 3-0 against. Begin. Almost never get to see a matchup like this. We are going to see pig they look of very the similar. I got they confused do. at first. I was like, wait, is that an atrium mirror? For, for a minute, I did too think that it was an atrocitus mirror. I'm not going to lie, but that is just red swamp thing. I don't know what kind of swamp is red. I guess there's some algae that's red, but uh, let's see if you can. <laughs> you got really technical there. Hey, hey, you got to think about these things. Nice. Throws Pig into the corner, but Pig choosing to wake up of the first okay, knockdown. So the, the one thing I've noticed about Pig is that he does not mind waking up all the time. You're right. He will condition his opponent to, to respect him on that wake up. But the big problem with Atrocitus' wake up is that it's any not, low attack will really avoid it. it like, it, it's, it's, it, what I mean by that is it's punishable in a lot of different ways. Right. It's, it's completely duckable. So as long as you just do a low attack, it'll avoid it. But the big thing about it is that it moves forward very fast and it's a nine frame startup. So if you're not within that position to duck it, immediately it might catch you. And that's oh. going to be a big yeah, combo. That's huge. Won't be able to set up Dexstar because Dexstar just went away, but taking the corner carry. Oh, oh it's caught by Raw Punch Float. Again, 1-1-2 one, one, coming out of Pig, and another Punch Float just hits. Calm your rage when I killed you. All right, a little bit of life back for Skate Bravo, but he really hasn't landed any solid hits. He's still going to have to deal with this Dexstar summon. This honestly looks very ugly for Escape Bravo. Is there's really not a lot he can do. Good blocks into the corner, and no, technically a wake up, but it was actually a meter bird wake up in the interactable. And that is it, Pig dominating game one against Escape Bravo. I do like that he's sticking to Swamp Thing. I I, I want to believe that he's got something something in the grove for us, if you know what I'm saying. Ooh. Oh, but gets caught. Thinks he's gonna do a low a little bit earlier. Nice full meterless combo. No, goes for the uh, the wrong follow up right there. Should have done the shield. There we go. Finally seeing the first, actually the first real true 
combo, yeah. Full combo of Swamp Thing from the entire tournament. Oh! oh okay, so, so what happens right there is the log kick actually has a hitbox on the kick yeah, as well as so the log, so it hits twice fast. Oh, and uses the armored interactable. Those have two hits as opposed to the one off of armored forward or back three. I don't even think Atrocitus got hit by the, the the real the cart. I think he just hates rides because he hates fun. He definitely is somebody that just doesn't like fun. I don't believe that. Just because you're you're ragey doesn't mean you don't enjoy a, a good roller coaster or two. If anything, I feel like maybe he enjoys them. You think when he goes on roller coasters, he's like, he, yeah. He, no, he, <laughs> he's like he, super. You think he gets motion sickness and he throws up and just kills everybody below him? <laughs> I gotta give you that joke. Oh, huge overhead cancel I'm off of one, one, two. Too. Yeah. Plus frames, and then he goes for the grab. Respected by Bravo, still stuck in the corner. And again, wow. that, that is the third time that he's gotten hit by, or fourth that he's gotten hit by walk back shimmy into punch float. Yeah, it's a very specific setup, and it just keeps working for Pig. And although the range is fantastic, oh, not able to avoid the fortune it, teller. It doesn't go full screen, so the grab still doesn't finish it off by going all the way full screen. It stops just at the tip. And speaking of the just the tip, it's Dexstar. He actually has a Black Adam lightning bolt logo as his icon, but we didn't really see that either. All right, so first hit from Skate Bravo. That's a start, but already having to deal with the mix-ups, taking so much damage, the airscape will do nothing for him. Yeah, in fact, that's two bars of meter now wasted. He did use it earlier to, to uh, beneficial effect, but not there. Oh, oh that oh. really small crouch. He went right into the ground. He's like, no. Oh, there we go. Baiting uh, the wake up now. Again, though, that was a very, very small damage combo compared to what he could be taking. And so Pig on the final life bar potentially of the set. Petting Dexstar. He's like, thank you so much for carrying me through this truck. Oh, Nine. and he just walked in barely to the edge of that grab. Oh, lands in it. Yep, trip guard. Okay, so it worked for him that time. The big problem here is he can't really push his offense as long as Dexstar is out. Right. And again, waking up with punch float. Pig is very close to ending this, but wait a second. Now, he actually could have got the full conversion off of that punch walk. Uh, a friend of mine, Sid Fox, actually found that out. It's pretty tough, but he could have gotten a lot more damage. Still going to be taking quite a bit, and another deck star summon. That is that going log to be there. Has, has hit Pig quite a bit. <laughs> hey, the log, is it's, it's tough. It's quick, it's low, and a lot of times you don't Expect it. But one thing that I would like to see a little bit more from Skate Bravo, oh, this not is gonna it. get the chance. Pig is gonna take it 3-0 over Skate Bravo. Look at those highness. Harley against Superman. Now <laughs> this is a matchup that we did see earlier today. Again. <laughs> right, yeah, we this is uh, Nova's just gonna go through all of the Harley Quinns, apparently. This is just a test of Harley Quinn matchup experience. Oh, and that is a bunch of damage on top of that. Of course, oh, wow, interesting Ender. That yeah. was uh, not really the highest damage you could have gotten and really not the best knockdown advantage. Sweep is a very, or sorry, Scoop is a very strange Ender to end Scoop. this game. <laughs> Scoop. <laughs> Scoop. Nice cancels into air guns to get a little bit of damage. All right, here comes the hyenas. And just barely missing the toes of Superman. Yeah, one of the only characters who can really effectively get over the hyenas. Oh, but not nice cupcake. cupcake. Oh, but the kudu! The kudu did <laughs> the not kudu. work. The kudu! I love the way that word just sounds. Kudu. Oh, and Trey Pound taking the life lead back just throughout zoning. Yeah. And he's doing a really good job of holding it. EX Cupcakes using Hyenas, gunshots as well. This is where, this is why Harley is so good at playing the zoning game. Now, one thing that we're seeing Trey Pound do, uh, I think better than Fierce did, is control the air with Cupcakes. Cupcakes are a right. huge part of And you of mentioned her that when game. they played as well. Right, and even if they're not in the air, they are very plus. They allow you to set up either a free gunshot or a free hyena summon or a pop gun, which we literally haven't seen from any Harley throughout the entire day. No, it's like we that have not move seen doesn't even pop gun exist. Once. 
but there are a lot I of mean, other options. It is slower, right? But the amount of advantage it has is kind of ridiculous. Right. So the way that Pop's gonna works for those of you out there who haven't seen it is she charges up the projectile, and the longer she charges it up, the slower it goes. And once you completely charge it to its maximum, it's actually unblockable, unblockable and yeah. super slow. So it's very hard to avoid. Uh, now you can meter burn it to actually completely eliminate all the recovery at the end of it, but still we're not seeing it too much. And literally at all, I guess. And look look, look at this, just like that, Trey Pound has continued to hold the life lead and now it's Nova in the corner, but meter burn roll through, gets caught jumping up. And that's the first time we've seen a normal land in about uh, 40 seconds. Oh, and this should be almost guaranteed chip. Oh, nice, gets away from it, but Trey Pound not challenging it. Cupcake going right under Superman, and that is it. Trey Pound, 1-0. So much more meter, and then of course the meter gives me to bring cupcakes, or meter bring back threes, there's so many different options, but I think we need to see Nova really move in and push that advantage. That is really scary for Harley as soon as Superman gets in. But it looks like, you know, he's choosing to instead just go back to the zoning game. <laughs> so it's like a beautiful dance. <laughs> oh. Just whiffing projectiles on each other, but it'll work eventually, I guess. And of course, whiff projectiles still building meter, so there's no real loss if you're not punished for it. True. Blocking the hyena still. So UPR again has the life lead, but look at the meter on Trey Pound's side of things. Four bars. Oh, down two misses the combo. Fortunately, gets a check, and now he's going to get healthy damage here in the corner. And it. I'm interested. As to why he ends his combo without... I feel like he's missing, yeah, that exactly, the Play Doctor. Usually you see 1-2 cancel in the Play Doctor at the end of combos, but I think he might have just missed it. It is a very awkward input, down, back, forward, 1. So sometimes you see people drop it. Javen, nope. Nova not out of it yet, still making somewhat of a comeback. Nice dashes over. Forces a little bit of chip on Harley. Oh, and he tries to go for the, the sweep? The, what does that call that? I have no idea. Actually, uh, an interesting fact, they changed the name of almost every single normal, and actually almost every single move in this game from Injustice 1. So it's going to take a lot of time to relearn what all the moves are called, and that's going to be the life bar. Just like that, Nova making a comeback. Now, I think Nova just needs to push this corner advantage, and oh! Didn't get anything off of it, but he's going to keep the positioning. I like the push block out of... Trey Pound, but he's getting caught now. Damage. Interesting, going for the Meatless combo, but he's going to let Trey Pound out of the corner, and this should be the kill unless he breaks. Get Last up. minute Get clash. Miss out on all the fun. Yeah. Oh. yeah, taking him down is just oh, about chip but life. the hyena still as long as the biscuit. Absolutely. But you know what? I did say something earlier. I did say, you know what? This might be the, the first week where we don't get a Black Adam or an Aquaman. And, and you lied. I have been proven wrong on both counts, as now we have the first Aquaman of the night. So I'm noticing a theme here from Atlanta as well. They all tend to like the color red. I mean, you, you know, you're totally right. We've seen so many red costumes today. I was thinking about that earlier. I think it's just right. Trey that actually rocks the white. I don't, I don't think he used any red so far today. Well, Merc played the Red Beetle. We talked about that. Yep. Uh, and then we had Burritos play the Red Arrow. Red Arrow, yeah. And then we see, of course, Red right now from Nova. Uh, Fierce, I believe, was playing the Demon Skin. So that was Red, too. And yep. then Pig, of course, plays Trocitus, which is just Red. Uh -huh. But then don't forget that... Um, oh, the Red Swamp thing from, nachos. from Skate. Or, yeah. Nachos. So, skate. Okay, he, so he did sign up as Skate, skate nachos. nachos. Yeah. All right, regardless, we are in here, and Trey Pound needs just one more little hit to take it to the last life and bar. That will oh. be the trade. <laughs> that looks so funny. Did you see uh, Harley quit on the way out? Yeah, I look like, what? All right, now it's just one hit, two. Pretty Nova, much even it up. Yeah, Nova is slowly taking this back, though, and trying to rush being push blocked so that as to keep the first life bar and do as much damage as possible. But Trey Pound taking it out. Or excuse me, Trey Pound being taken out at the end. Wow, manages to get over the hyena. We've seen that Nova's very comfortable trying to challenge the hyena from the air, which is not something you normally see. 
Oh, that's pretty big. Could have used the background bounce for some yeah. free damage, but still not seeing too many players comfortable using that. Good conversion here. Clash still available for both players. Two oh. bars. For Nova, though, clashing would actually hurt him here. As Trapeon has built so oh, much better. Oh, react! Do it! React to the back two with the super. Easily my favorite super in the entire game. Give him the bat. And that is going to be Trey Pounds taking it. I, oh, it, that is actually. Like oh, this, I know I've never seen that helmet before in my life. I know exactly life. why. Why? I'm not going to tell you, but I know exactly why. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about Dr. Fate. Dr. Fate, a character that Pig himself has said is just extremely bad. Just very, very bad. But we've also seen a lot of Dr. Fates doing really well within the past few weeks. Last, Last week, we saw Dr. Fate winning in the San Francisco region, a.k.a. Mr. Wound Cowboy. Yep. And, and then, then, then before, we saw Peanut. Yeah, doing really well in the IPS Online West for North America tournament. But Pig, of course, he uh, he's not a huge fan of how, uh, really just how he thinks Fate is on the tier list. God, I love those colors. Thank you. Thank you, Brent. Thank you, Pig. I feel like this is a mystery we need to get to the bottom of, but lots of chip from Pig, and really this has just been a projectile battle the entire way through. Nice! A Mad Meter Burn roll coming. Very handy. And that's not the first time that we've seen a really good Meter Burn roll from Trey Pound. Trey Pound has been using it to get in on zoning. Oh, what oh. a read! Shooting him right out of the air. Oh, and a bait! That was beautiful! One of the toughest wake-ups to bait. You have to jump over it with very specific timing, and that was exactly what he needed on top of summoning the Hyena first. I also really love the way that uh, he ends the clash when he wins, Fate. Mm -hmm. it's, it's super neat. And there we go, taking the life bar. Speaking of ending things, Pig evens <laughs> it up. One to one on life bars. Now, one thing that we see, I think Peanut and Cowboy do a lot more than Pig, is actually throw out the slow projectile and meter burn it right in front of him. Yeah. That, of course, is a very, very long-lasting shield that stops opponents from meter burn rolling in, just like we've been seeing Trey Pound do. And there it is again. That is going to be huge damage. Doesn't go for the back three. Interesting choice. Still, though, has the corner advantage and a quite good life lead. Pig just getting hit by the raw cupcake. Oh, they got right out. Wait, no. It Gets caught with the jump guns, and Trey Pound takes the first. Yeah, so maybe that's a an opinion that Pig shares with the rest of the community, and maybe he just has experience here. I mean, again, both of these players are from the Atlanta area, so maybe he has experience against Trey Pound. Doesn't do well generally with Atrocitus against Harley. And already we're seeing, we're, we are seeing a, a wow. level of comfortability that, from Trey Pound. Yeah, and that was... A really well done job of, of pretty pretty much nullifying Dexstar completely. Yeah, the push block in particular was very well timed. Trey Pound is showing that he's no stranger to this matchup at all. In fact, he looks, as you said, comfortable. Oh, but that's going to be a full conversion. Uses the meter instead of using Dexstar. That may have been a mistake. We've yeah, seen I think it was. More than one time we have seen Pig where he, I think he tries to back three or forward three. And, and he just gets, gets the three. three. Yeah. Okay, going for the four, two, two. Not the four, two to puddle the unblockable, as we like to say. <laughs> that it, is truly the unblockable. It's hit so many times. Gets Dexstar out. Now if he can just close out Trey Pound, this would be very nice for Pig as Dexstar would be pretty much readily available by the start of the next round. And there oh, it is. Oh, that was almost a really nice sneaky way to get in there, but Dexstar doesn't care. Dexstar doesn't yeah. care how sneaky you are. And there it is halfway you're... already. Dexstar is almost ready to be brought out again during Pig's first life bar. And honestly, the, these little trades uh, with Pig getting a little bit of chip are actually in his favor. Because of that first life bar, he was able to build almost two bars of meter, and now Dexstar is out. Oh, the meter burn back three wasn't quick enough, and gets stuffed by the second hit of four, two, two, three. And now Pig's got to, oh, I was about to say, nice corner positioning, Again. but. Again, Trey Pound knowing exactly when Pig is going to want to jump, get some on wake up. And that is a very smart break by Pig. It's going to get him out of that corner where the pressure would have been really scary. And still, the win was to Trey Pound. So he's still going to have the potential to walk oh, back in and still, get to the corner. He's actually still in the corner, though. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he fights his way out. Literally. <laughs> Good block. 
Oh, not the best trade, but it gives him enough time to bring out Dexter, and that's gonna oh! be big! Oh, and two Burning bars, two bars for nothing. Oh, Still getting caught. That should be it. Oh, no, wait, maybe not. No, I don't think that's going to kill the interactable or the transition. Uh, not yeah. too much damage. If, if he had gone for the full combo instead of the back three into oh. the interactable, that would have been the kill. But instead, there's still a chance for Pig. All he needs to do is land one more hit, but the chip is going to be nearly guaranteed here. Oh, wait a oh. second. Maybe not. Wow, no break. That was, I can't believe it wasn't a break there. And that is 2-0 for Trey Pound over Pig. Dire situations where he has made pixel comebacks and then turned it into a full-blown uh, domination from behind. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, anyway, I, <laughs> I do like the uh, the costumes on the stage, the double... The double super, like, uh, what are they called? The double god costume, that's what they're called. On the, like, clean... Yeah, on the... On the... The Fortress of Solitude. Yeah, it's a very clean-looking matchup. And both of them, on top of being the, the god costume, they have this, like, little bit of red tinge, which is just really clean-looking. All right, and a lead to Trey Pound, but can he escape from Dexstar? Oh, no, he gets caught with the Rompla Nato. And I haven't really seen today or tonight not a lot of um, interactable use in the center. Yeah, you're right. We have not seen background bounces used. And I've said it last week, and I've said it on Twitter. I really think that it's surprising that people aren't comfortable using that, especially players like, say, well, uh, maybe Trey Pound would use it, but actually it's not very good with Harley. But players like, you know, Trey Pound or Pig that have played since Injustice 1, and they should have it a should very be. comfortable yeah. time using background. It should be a tool in their toolbox, essentially. Yeah. You're a real buzzkill. You're a real buzzkill, Evan. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no fun allowed. Oh, Cupcake Whips could have been a whiff punish, actually, with the Tornado, but... Oh, this is going to be an interesting situation. Pig has the infinite usage interactable corner. And now if he's got the life lead, I wonder if he's going to be able to play defensively. No, no, it doesn't uh, choose to. Yeah. Goes in. You're gonna play nice. And that's a great break because or a clash because that means that Dexstar will be gone. It's tied and still a little bit of a life lead from Pig, but there's still that huge time to recharge Dexstar, although it's getting closer and closer. And of course, that corner interactable he can use literally as many times as yeah, he wants to. But look at this, Trey Pound is literally walking him into the corner. Oh, oh wait, down up. two? Okay. <laughs> a sort of wake up down two. Oh, good all right, push good block. push block. There's a second one, but that Get should cut. And that is. Oh, oh no, no, it's not not Wait! Oh. oh. So that's the first game on Pig of the Hut. Very close. In fact, had that uh, puddle been blocked, unless unless that was chip damage, that would have potentially been death because it could have got a meter and back three, meter and back three. I really do oh. like. Ooh, okay, starting off with the transition. But yeah, I really do like the god shaders. I think the colors look really cool. Um, the white and the gold is. Uh, I'm a fan. And we're seeing that from both characters currently. Oh, and that is unsafe. Just goes for the down one. Doesn't try to get the full conversion off of it. Actually, I don't think he could have. Well, he could have done like a full one too. So many raw blood puddles are catching Trey Pound. He needs to watch his feet. Good block into a push block, trying to nullify all Dexstar's timeout. But he is going to get caught. And one thing that I think Pig needs to watch out for a little bit more are the opportunities where he can get a full combo without spending his bar, because Dexstar isn't going to go away quite yet. Still, though, any damage is damage, and he's got a strong lead here. And he's getting caught by a lot. And there it is. Pig of the Hut. This is what I'm talking about. Look at him. Now he's dominating the matchup. It's looking pretty good, but oh, that is a huge drop. He only got 191 damage off of that. I don't know exactly what he was trying for there, but I don't either. if he had gone for the back three for the full combo, that is actually the strongest way to start off a combo for Supergirl. And now instead... Actually, you know what I just thought of that's really good in this matchup as well with Dexstar is out is the her tr full fully charged trait. Yeah, fully charged trait. Uh, the well, it's, it's I guess it's meter burn trait, even though it doesn't spend a bar. It does break through the shield and then make him block for a very considerable amount of time. Nice conversion off the entire down one. Wasn't able to get the kill, but oh, oh! He tried again, but he whiffed, and that's gonna take the life bar. Trey Pound once again finds himself within kill territory of taking the set from Pig. And honestly, one thing that we 
Nice oh, conversion. That was, that was switching clean. sides too. Drops the combo, but that was a very clean conversion. Yeah, one thing that I would like to maybe see is honestly Trey Pound waiting for one of those puddles from full screen and then punishing it with Meteor Burn Teleport is a full combo punish. But instead he's just gonna get caught by it. That, that should be three transition yeah. and that's death. So then this will be our first match of the night that will go to the final game as Pig has brought it back two games in a row after Trey Pound took the first two. So who will Trey Pound begin? I didn't get that last one, but that's okay. All right. That's okay. It's because you only have two characters. You don't understand the true mind games here. Nice. Gets the first hit with a down one. I think he tried to actually background bounce off of it, but I think it might have been on cooldown. I don't know if that's how it works. If it's on cooldown oh, because nice it's first catch. It. Oh. Um, interesting. Went for the unclashable. Definitely, <laughs> definitely didn't let Trey Pound clash too. right like, there. Wait, which? I'll, I'll tell you that much. And here we go. Pig has the lead. Now he's just gonna. Oh, again. Oh, that's. That sucks. If Trey Pound loses this set, he will lose to almost entirely the fact that he was hit by far too many raw blood puddles from full screen. And there we go. Seeing it hit again. It's been a real downfall for Trey Pound. He's taking just so much damage, giving Pig that lead that he can use to play patient, wait for Dexstar to come back. And there's another one. I mean, the hyena saving him, but look at how much he's blood out. Oh, my. He is out zoning Harley Quinn with, with blood puddles, which is insane. That should honestly that should never happen, be the case. Yeah. On oh, so much meter gone for Trey Pound, but he's building back already really quick. And now at this point, I think Trey is thinking that he might need to go in if he wants to close this out. Slowly walking across this across the screen, just getting these small punishes. And there's really not a whole lot that Harley can do. Okay, that should be a punish, and there it is, Trey Pound. Final life bar, final round for both players. For both players, here we go. And a lot of it will depend on how well Trey Pound does against this next star, and you know, not taking a full combo yet, but still taking quite a few oh, straight hits. Gets right under though, here we go, combo, and a clash immediately for Pig. Is not funny. Well, I think it's funny. I love her. She's so awesome, she's such a cool, She's such an awesome character. Oh, and there we go. Finally escaping those. But oh, the kudu! But the kudu! Who knew about the kudu? <laughs> you do! <laughs> we can stop now. <laughs> You're so proud of yourself, and I hate it. You started it. All right, getting over the blood puddle again. Oh, this, this is, is good. This is very good for Troy Pound. His life bars are so even, but this positioning. Any mistake here for either player is oh, that actually pretty stopped much dead. Star from coming out, and now it's gonna be pet versus pet. Staying in the air, trying to at least. Oh, again! I don't know why Push the blocks. Next star's no out. longer an issue now. Hyenas for trip out if he wants to use the air to air. Oh, he oh. got, and that is it. Trey Pound takes it over Pig of the Hut, and it was. A, a kind of defense versus tr somebody trying to take over. Because Tweety, he's literally trying to take over and this then, region. Yeah. No, he is. And he Burritos, if he's got to be the one to defend against him right now. I mean, he is the one that is dominating with the absence of Tweety. So now that Tweety's in the mix, he's got to defend home turf. Yeah, and this is also going to be really big points-wise. Wow, so much zoning. But it's really big points-wise for Burritos. If he manages to beat Tweety, that would help him keep Tweety out of that top four spot, where then he would only have to fight against people that he's already played in these tournaments and beat. Oh, that should be a punish. Interesting, but very nice conversion. It's not easy to get a full conversion yeah, when the opponent's awkward, frozen right there. And I think he did a pretty good job. Damage was low, but I don't really know how much he could have maximized that much more than he did. Yeah, I, I mean, from a down two into a freeze arrow, the damage is already just scaled yeah. insanely. So it was pretty much what he could have got. And oh, wow, oh. just barely catching with that. Not getting very much damage. Interesting. I feel like he could have yeah, got a I lot more. I think he more. chose to go for maybe a mix-up up close, but it cost him his life bar. Strong. Tweety the bird. <laughs> now, Superman says the strong protect the weak, but it really looks like the opposite right now. Yeah. Now, this is a matchup that is 
it, it's been varied as to who people think wins or loses. But There's different opinions. Oh, at <laughs> the very top. Nice. Oh, wow. Look at that. That was beautiful. That showed so much uh, just character experience, character knowing knowledge, exactly yeah. when they were going to fall from the ice. If he'd done it any later, it would have dropped any earlier, and it would have just completely whiffed, whiffed underneath yeah. him. Rolls in again, but that mix-up is going to help him out. Still not getting the most damage. Ooh. Wait a second. Now, that might actually not be beneficial for Burritos. That might make it so that it's not quite enough damage to kill yet. Definitely won't kill. And now and he doesn't have Superman in the corner. Right. In fact, he's the one who's yeah. looking like he's in the corner. Still, all this free damage gets the down one into the fidget spinner. Oh my god. Oh, and uh, I gotta say, we have seen a lot of really good meter burn rolls today. More so than any other region, easily. Oh, went for the mix-up! Not really getting much off I of stole it. that, by the way, from more of the gods. I believe it was Echo and Aquaman. That oh. Spinner. So I'm gonna give him a shout out. For oh, you gotta give him a shout out for that. You're gonna steal. It man. does. It does look like a vicious spinner. <laughs> it, it does. Oh, and getting laser beamed right on the chest. <laughs> right, right, right. Begin. Well, not really one or two, but you go to understand. All right. Anyway, Burrito sticking with Green Arrow and catching Tweety on the end. Nice. Finally seeing the usage of a background bounce. Yep. Oh, misses the. Freezing arrow, which means he's got to pull another one out. There it is. Gets the freeze. Oh. I think he tried to double dash, but he only got one because I saw him just move forward a small step and then kind of just realized yeah. that he was going to win. Fire arrows. Interesting choice, but I think potentially I've Green Arrow that. could outzone Superman if he does manage to stay loaded. Right, and I think the last time we saw this matchup was uh, with Costner, and he tried the same thing. He tried fire instead of frost arrows. Well, the big thing about fire arrows is that you load so many of them, and then Frost, it's just one shot. You one. one slow shot. And speaking of one, there was one chance to block that, and he didn't, and look at this oh, damage. Oh, that was unnecessary. And, and another that one. Absolute death. So, Burrito's just getting Superman in the corner. Jumps out. Need Jump. to burn, of course, to make it safe, but this is a hefty lead for Tweety. That should be a full combo. Nice catching him right as he's dropping loads. Doesn't continue the combo, but the delayed wake up by Tweety was exactly what he needed to avoid the meter burn 4 3 right there. Oh, and he gets over the wake up. Nice. And not beautiful side switch there. Oh, and avoiding the meter burn forward 3 with the wake up that, rising grab. That is so hard to punish. Oh, and we could have seen an unbreakable US. combo, but instead. Uh, Tweety just just letting it. He says, you know what? I have so much of a life lead. I don't even care So the And that's gonna be hard to convert off. Uh, no, oh, never mind. It, it is hard to convert off of but not for burritos who's shown that he's comfortable doing that Still though, you can only be so comfortable Against Superman. Yeah, he's that gonna... is 2-0 now for Tweety. So the, the biggest Really solid damage off of everything that he does. It's very easy for him to run away with a game. Yeah, I don't think we've seen Burritos hit a combo over 300 damage yet at all. I think you might, yeah, I think you're right. And, and with Superman doing, you know, 550 in a corner, like, he, or even mid-screen doing, you know, 400 something, you gotta maximize the damage. The, these little hits, as good as they are, it takes way too long to just it just takes way too long to, to get Superman down. And even in zoning like this, you see Burritos not being able to take back the life lead just with fire arrows, just because lasers, and of course, meter burn lasers do so much yeah, damage themselves. These trades are really just not in favor of Burritos at all. And right, <laughs> we, we literally haven't seen Tweety hit Burritos with a normal yet. This has been 100% of his life from lasers. And that's going to give him a little bit of damage. The biggest thing here is going to be the corner carry, but will Tweety use a normal? All right. No. Not oh, yet. The invincibility of that Oh, and we up. see the forward two. That actually could have been a huge combo if he'd gun for the full string. Instead, try to bait it into the throw. Yeah, and that's what I'm talking about. 409 without without um, continuing the combo because it clashed. It's, that's so much more damage than Burritos is able to get off of Superman. And, and to be honest, Arrow can actually do damage now this, this time around in this game. Right, you just need to spend that meter, but he's been using meter on other things, and right now, again, I don't know why he's still continuing to try to zone. He's obviously losing the zoning battle. Tweety is just taking so much damage, building so much meter, 
And the the laser and all these traits are, are in favor of Tweety, 100%. Yeah, I mean, even if the damage isn't 100% in his favor, it's just the, the life lead, yeah. the percentage is more than 100%. And that's not to say this isn't difficult for Arrow, because a lot of people think it is, and I can I can understand why, but he's just got to do something different than trying to zone. Right. I mean, you need to have multiple playstyles, or you will just not be able to handle one thing and then lose. And that will be death, assuming there's no drop here. No clash. Oh, what was that? Just walks forward, doesn't close it out. Could have got a little bit more. I think he was maybe waiting for him to flip out of the back three. Yeah, but I think that's what it was too. And just like that, Tweety comes to Atlanta. And he... Begin. Actually, as our first match of the night. So this is the rematch of Burritos against Trey Pound. Now, Burritos did very well against Trey Pound the uh, first time. Let's see if Trey Pound kind of has ridden the momentum from making it through losers. Okay, going for the mix-ups here. Nice, he lands some decent damage and pushes Arley all the way to the corner. But we've seen tonight Trey Pound fight out of the corner very effectively multiple times. Ooh, Trying Roth alive. I think that was a read on the air, uh, air downward shot. Oh, that's not going to do anything. Not close enough. Oh, oh what a shot. Wow, did you see him just stance switch twice? Yeah. I'm not sure if that was a taunt or if that was actually like a, a timing it device that he uses. And I, I find it really neat when players do use things like that to, to time combos or, or something like, like media right. or wake up or something. Or yeah. setups, like whipping normals or using a dash into like a neutral jump to a forward jump. It's all, I, I love seeing that. It shows a real... A real level of knowledge that not everybody has, and a level of being able to lab things. It's, it's great to see. Yeah. And th like things like that, like meter burning the second gunshot to avoid getting frozen. <laughs> so far, the vertical game plan from Trey Pound is actually not working at all against Burritos. It really. is not. It's, it is very tough to outzone Green Arrow just because he does, of course, go so low and he can jump and shoot projectiles, so he's very evasive while he zones himself yep. and good damage coming out of the double back three transition is in play and now we go back to the top of Kondok. Wow, baiting the wake up and just such a huge life lead here from burritos i don't know what trey pound can do except for maybe take this corner advantage and try to run away with it yeah and you i mean trey pound has done so well all night but it just seems like green arrow may be his kryptonite i did not mean to rhyme that but i did <laughs> Oh, wow, weird meter burn roll, but that'll be enough. No clash from wow. Trey Pound and Burritos. Very Burritos. Win. Harley gets in. But you know what? Trey Pound sticking with Harley. Going to try to make it work this time. Definitely one of the biggest things here is going to He has to really not use the... Sorry, not lose the life lead, which has already happened, but not by a huge amount. Good block in the overhead. Probably gets caught by the last low of tantrum stance. Did that get changed too, or is it still called Tantrum Stance? I, I know believe it's a lot still called of things tantrum got changed. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's still Tantrum Stance, so I'm just going to keep saying Tantrum Stance. But we're already seeing exactly what happened last time. Burrito's running away with the life lead and managing to get out of the corner. That is huge. Oh, ball doesn't block the overhead meter burn. That slide becomes a low into an overhead, and it is plus. Yeah, so it's a very good check in neutral in general. Trey Pound really needs to make his way in. He's just using those gunshots that he can really force the respect from Burritos. But, oh, Burritos still sliding out. So this should be quite a bit of damage from Trey Pound. He might be able to even it up here. The real question is, what's the setup going to be? Ah, uh, see, oh! I like him ending in that. He, I think that's one of the first times. He used it er earlier once in a set, but that's a really good way to set things up. Tantrum stands cancel roll forward into your opponent's wake up. It makes it pretty ambiguous. Right, and that was one of the only ways that he could have baited that uh, kind of retreating arrow on wake up. And it worked really well for him, but you know what? Still a little bit oh, of a light. Oh. <laughs> almost like the forbidden yeah, tech. Yeah, the, the highly suggested against tech. <laughs> Not quite forbidden. Oh, going to get the full combo. Not going to take the side switch. I think he tried to, but didn't quite make it far enough. Oh, but getting another pickup. And again, beautiful usage of the background bats from Burritos. Let's drop the combo, though. You do not want to go there. You do not want to go there. 
I think she wants to go wherever she wants to go. That's kind of the Harley Quinn thing. All right. Trey Pound needs to make it back in again. He's in that tough full screen situation. He also just seems so comfortable. I mean, it looks like Trey Pound is trying to mix things up when it comes to the zoning, but you're right. He isn't really going in. He's tentative to kind of go in. But every single time he finally gets Burritos to the corner, Burritos has just shown that he's such a master of escaping the corner. Yeah, and he's on threat of going up two games right now. Good block. Oh, no full conversion. It was a weird conversion, but still could have gotten more. Tried to bait the slide. Doesn't jump back far enough. Oh! Stuffs the armor in the back three from Trey Pound, and now Burritos trying to get away. He had Ooh. Clash. Yeah, he should have flashed so much earlier. Why is he not using it? Wow, he just threw that away by refusing to clash. Now, he would have, at the beginning of that combo, he would not have been brought down to chip life. He could not have taken quite that much damage, I don't think. Yeah, or at least it would have been close. But instead, it's going to be 1-1. So this is the first round, or first game, that Trey Pound has taken against Burritos. That really shows a lot. It really shows a, a mental shift. And on top of that, also the first round where Trey Pound has taken the life lead at the beginning. True. So we're seeing a very good sign here that Trey Pound may have made the mental adjustment that he needs to. Well, he's been playing well all night except for the first game against Burritos. And it wasn't that he didn't play well in that matchup. It's just that he struggled. And he did struggle in the first game here against Burritos, but now he looks much healthier. All right, that should be a lot of damage. Oop, just goes for the mix-up. Yeah, and he, that's what I'm saying. He's, he's choosing to not do that much damage when he gets these. I understand that Ice Arrow, you know, scales down the damage of your combos, but he's he's literally getting within the, the, the double digits. He's not even hitting the triple digits. Right, and one thing that we used to see a lot was Green Arrow's going for that reset back in Injustice 1, but in Injustice 2, he actually does not have a first hit hitting overhead anymore. So his mix-ups are uh, considerably weaker. He's definitely much more of a zoner in this game than he is a mix-up character. I'm not sure if the resets are quite as good as they used to be. And if anything, I would like to see a throw. Yeah, or not only that, but you also have to realize that, you know, we talked about it earlier, he actually does good damage in this game. Yeah, yeah, of course. So just those two things combined, I feel like going for the reset, unless maybe you're going for a throw or trying to bait a throw tech, which would of course well, get we another damage We haven't even seen that yet either. Right, yeah, not at all. So it's very interesting choices. Regardless, Burrito still has quite a life lead here. Well, not a huge life lead, but now he's got the corner positioning too, and that's going to be big. And that is going to be the life bar for Trey Pound, who is still bleeding out life, though. Burrito's doing a, a great job of bringing it back. Oh, but Trey Pound only needs is one little hit here. You know what? I don't think I would have gone for the unclashable right there. I would have seen if he clashed because not, he's shown that he doesn't that. like to. <laughs> right, but not only that, at the time, Trippon actually had the meter advantage. That's true, or at least, uh, you know, even if he was even based on that very, very last hit that would have been clashed, uh, it was, it, it's not a terrible situation. And now Trapon with the lead and two bars of meter lead for if either of these players need to clash. Now three bars meter lead. And we do have super in effect. We have seen it before tonight. And super would most certainly almost kill. Right here, I would love to see a bunch of EX cupcakes. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't quite get the shot off. Oh no, and now Burritos has the lead and fire arrow. Oh Whoa. wait, is that gonna kill? No! Oh, he gets over and what a beautiful way to stay in the air and kill! We're awful. <laughs> well, one of us is. I won't say who, though. I'll leave that up to the audience to decide. But that means that Burritos is now one game away from making it back up into Grand Dan yeah, and getting his run back against Tweety. But of course, Trey Pound might stand a better chance. We've seen, well, I mean, of course, a run back is a run back, so anything can happen. But Trey Pound hasn't had a chance to fight Tweety oh. quite yet. <laughs> oh. So what he tried to do right there is he tried to do the, the upward to do arrow. Is, check out my fidget spinner tricks. Yeah, he's like, look, behind me. No, uh, he tried to do the up arrow, but he was on the, the other side. So he instead right. got down forward one to the down back. Okay, here we go. This is the big damage I want to see. It started with a meter burn 4-3 and ended with 486 damage. And I think there was actually still more to that yeah, combo. Yeah, he actually dropped the end of it. So that was a huge combo. And he needed that. He needed that to take back the life lead. Now he has it. On a freeze. 
transition, doing the 4-3, I like it to keep Trey Pound in the corner again, going for more plus frames with the meter burn overhead, and he's gonna get that life bar clean. And very smart of him to start using more meter burn 4-3s as Oki tools. It's uh, been working out really well for him. And like you said, the low profile of being, oh my god, his, his ISO shots have been very on point. Oh, just a normal forward three, but still catches her with the plus frames. And oh, oh did it, it actually whiff? It low profile. That's, that's some Cowman syndrome right there. Well, Harley's got that too. Another kind of tiny little lady. And so that's Petite. That she is definitely petite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looks like he tried to hit the dog. Yeah. It's, but dog, no, you, you, you cannot you hit the, the hyena. Hyena. Well, it's sort of a dog. It's close enough. Nice air to air. That was that was strictly a read and the mix up. Oh no! Wow, he still had time to back three and then that's the insane. I can't believe the second one was able to transition. He was just one step out of that range. This shouldn't quite be enough to kill, but all he needs now is just a little bit of chip. He's got meter that he can use for it too. Don't know. Is he gonna get the run back that is unblockable? So he's gotta stay back. As Tripout tries to desperately fight his way in, and that is it. Burritos. Moving back. Of the night, but it was just very dominating. One of the most dominating matches that we've seen. Not a bad start for, for Tweedy. Not at all, especially using that background bounce to get the hard knockdown and load the arrow, but doesn't get the mix up. Ooh, good block. Oh, and wow, instant jump back. That was interesting. Yeah, and it was actually blocked. Now, because it was on the way up, it wasn't an overhead. Now, every jump attack in this game, oh, wow, landed on it. Full conversion, not quite full conversion from Burrito. Oh, wake up, Superman, Superman punch. Eats the armor back three. Oh, but he jumps himself in the corner. This is the last place you want to find yourself. Oh, but nice air to air. You know what he's doing right there is he keeps doing down one into the retreating arrow. Which now the retreating plus. arrow is plus on block, but you normally can't really get a follow up because it pushes you far, so far back. But when you're in oh. the corner, then you get a free down one. That was a missed input. It very well could have been. He, I'm sure he was going for down one retreating arrow and he got the up arrow. Or maybe he was expecting him to jump out, but regardless, Tweety took advantage of it and now life bars are evened up. Now, Burritos is going to have to not only win three games, he's going to have to win another three games. And that is very tough to do against a Superman of Tweety's caliber. We have seen the, the success in zoning, though, from not only Burritos right now, but Illusions uh, had a phenomenal showing with Green Arrow in the top eight of CEO, where um, he outread the Superman like almost at every corner. Yeah, and I believe Illusion's actually taking third in uh, War of the Gods mm -hmm. last night. But, oh, wow, catches him with the meter burn hit. Oh, and <laughs> again, meter burn roll is just not a good tool against Superman. It's, I mean, it is not against air lasers, Not with the crown lasers, Right, yeah. right. It's actually a great tool against his air lasers, so I, uh, I retract that statement. It was a mistake. It was very much intentional. Taking him back to full screen now. I think Tweety's going to be comfortable just trying to zone again. Wow, anti airs him with the sweeping laser. And of course, meter burn roll isn't going to do very much. Oh, that's oh. the trade. He uses the meter burn roll to get in, oh. but drops the combo. That means he's going to lose so many resources, but catches him with a third hit of 1-1-1. One, one, one. These mix-ups, though, it's working in his favor. Tweety's stuck in the corner. Gets caught again. Oh, that, this could be the kill if he doesn't drop it. No, he could have got more damage instead. Oh, what a play! What a sequence from Burritos. You <laughs> can you imagine after like some yeah. ridiculous play like that? He's like, hey man, don't do that. <laughs> we're, we're all just nice people. No, but for those of you who uh, actually don't know very much about Tweety, he was a very successful Tarkatan alien player in Mortal Kombat X. I wonder if he really likes playing aliens. He played alien, and then now he plays an alien. That's the, I mean, you're right. Does wow. alien? Wow, look at all that damage he took Unreal. from- Unreal. Oh, Unreal. My. Oh, he's taking so much with lasers! No! It just melted I away! Just, you're, you're emotional because I can see the hurt in your eyes after experiencing what it's like. Oh, and it is over.
Oh my, so, okay, for those of you who don't know how Superman straight laser works, it is a high attack, and it's not that great oh, as that far was, as startup. That was nice. That was nice. That but was it does insane chip damage. On top of that, Tweety had trade on. So that chip was essentially as much as getting hit by a normal laser. Then on top of that, traded meter burn sweeping laser was just so much damage. And, and it's all happening again. Yeah, this has been almost, I mean, all, honestly, almost entirely laser, laser damage. damage. Yeah, and again, that makes up his hit quite a bit. Oh, oh no! That would have been cool if he landed it, but still, corner pressure is present. And he could still do this. All right, and Tweety said, you know what? You're not doing this crazy mix up on me. I'm just going to wake up this time. And now, essentially two bars for both players. That's oh, a good trade. Oh, Whoa, the wake up. oh no! Goes right through the invincibility frames and ends it with a laser. How poetic! I act in. It's not getting hit by so many lasers and <laughs> but not I mean, blocking it's straight. It's so hard, right? To, yeah, uh, yeah. No, no. Like, it's the simplest thing ever. But if if somebody said that at the start of Injustice One, they just just don't get hit by lasers. Hey, just don't uh, get yeah. it. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> We're not from here. Oh no! And stop he, yeah, blocking he's those. Blocking those. The, the fact that he can duck those two, and you can clearly see if the, if the ground laser is coming before the straight laser. There's no reason for you to really take that. And the big thing too is, no, oh no, stop it, stop it's blocking like those, got, it takes so much like he got up to get hit by it. I know, and I can see the hurt in you, it's fantastic. He has taken over 50% life from purely straight laser chip, not even being hit by it. There was definitely a bigger conversion there to be had. It's because uh, Screener was wearing those goggles, right? I think he's, he's wearing the goggles and he's like, the lasers can't hurt me. Look at these sick ass goggles. I don't know, man. Those lasers are kind of hurting him. They're hurting him a little bit more than uh, he thinks. But he's still got a chance here. He's, I don't know how he's taking oh. so much damage from all of that and not losing. Uh, <laughs> right? Like, I, it's really I incredible mean, he, play. He is and he isn't, right? Well, now he's got the life lead, and that's pretty big. Wake up again, that rising grab. Nice block on the slide into meter burn, though. Ice arrow still loaded. All right, nice patience by Tweety, not getting tagged by it. And he's slowly making the comeback with just lasers alone, as, as we've seen before. Wait a second, and a good clash. That would have been US uh, a lot uh, of A lot of, yeah. You think lasers hurt? Wait till you see. Uh, wait, wait until he gets his his hands on you. Yeah. Ooh, look Ooh, at look this! this. Oh. All these yeah projectiles just barely avoiding each other. But burritos with the life lead. Now Tweety can use his meter for a lot. Like a platforming game there for a second. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Dive punch. And that's gonna be a lot of life. This is gonna suck. One more mix up. The oh, grab the He's still Smart. alive, but not by much. And oh. that is going to do it, Tweety. <laughs> Tweety just cold it's in the one air. one game closer from closing out his very first battle in the Atlanta region win. and winning. Yeah, and that will just, regardless, that will be the start of a long trek for him to try to make it up to that top four spot. But, but 100 points starting out is not bad. Oh, no, that is not bad at all. And again, all he needs to do is make it into that top four spot. Right, he doesn't, he doesn't need to make ooh, first. Ooh. Look at this, we're seeing a Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. No way. You, there was almost like regret in your voice. Why is that? Uh, I don't, well, <laughs> I mean, honestly, okay, so Wonder Woman is a very cool character, but uh, this is considered a pretty tough matchup. So we don't see too many Wonder Womans out there anymore. There were a few people Begin. starting off with Wonder Woman, but really, yeah, not, not too many anymore. We'll, we'll see how Burritos does with, uh, with Maybe Berg. he wants to parry those lasers, which seems to work uh, slightly better than blocking them with his face. Just a little bit better than blocking them. Oh, this is the character that he's going to be have to be locked into. Again, getting hit by the jump to dive bomb. And look at all of that damage and a down to punish off the wake up. All right, that's plus. That's insanely plus. Two, two, three. There's a huge gap for the last hit. Oh, nice full combo. Now, what's he gonna do? Is he gonna go for damage or whoa? That, weird. If he would have finished that, 
Yeah, I mean, even without finishing it, that was a that was a cool combo. It was very cool, actually, not optimal, but still, look at all this damage. That's gonna be. Oh no, it's not the life bar. That could have been a little bit more. Weird knockdown too, but instead. Burrito's going for the style combos and Tweety taking the first life bar. Had he gone for the normal optimals instead of the style up, uh, uppercut combos, that would have been the, the life bar. So what does that parrying do for her? So the parry, obviously, it just it just negates the projectile. Right. It doesn't take any chip, doesn't take any damage. And then it builds her a little bit of meter, not a whole lot. And she is able to, uh, she gets a little bit of a damage buff for only about five seconds. But it's only, yeah, it's only, it's, it's a little damage buff too. So it's useful. It's really not that useful. It gives her a little bit of damage. Okay. It's useful. It's useful. Yeah. But it's really not. Try, I'm trying to reason as to why it's good, but it's just okay. And Tweety landing a bunch of damage. Oh, going oh. for the parry, wrong time. Clash is available. Needs to do it. That could have been death. That was actually a really long clash, or like long wait to clash. Yeah. But a lot of life back. That's it all. Nice, good punish on the laser. Now. The big scary issue with straight shield from the ground is it's minus a ton. It's minus it's like 30. Yeah. Now from the air, it's actually completely safe. Right, but just standing straight shield is, it's pretty Bad. minus. And this is a really good spot. Wonder Woman is just, she controls the corner. So she needs to actually. Uh, and that is it, Tweety oh. Way with the tea bag. <laughs> No, I knew as soon as he put him in, I was like, nope, Blocks on doesn't matter. Yeah. With the tea bag, claims victory his very first week in Atlanta.